Get out of here. Sometimes life seems so unfortunate. That's why I don't give a shit. The poor stay poor, the rich get richer. It's just so disproportionate. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another amazing episode brought to you by Games Glitches. And in today's episode, we're gonna do something quite different. We're gonna open up tons of survival caches. I have defeated survivals uh, many times and I was already aching to open up the caches and once I reached 50, at this point I think we're good enough. As you can see here ladies and gentlemen, uh, sealed caches, sealed caches, sealed caches, sealed caches, sealed, sealed survival caches. I have, well literally as you guys can see here, 54 caches. So. This is going to be a cash opening episode. You're probably also wondering why I don't have a pistol. I don't even know why I don't have a pistol. Just switching out pistols one day and boom, both of them vanished. I've been trying to replicate this bug in another character that has a weapon and I seem cannot be able to do it. I'm not really sure whatever happened to my pistol. It's just, well, fucking God. As you guys can see here, it's not here. But in any case, division will always be division. And at this point, nothing can surprise us. I hope so. In any case, <clears throat> so we're going to start opening these caches. Uh, we also have uh, some survival caches. Like, you know, we, in, in, in general, we have a lot of caches, as you ladies and gentlemen can see here. So we're going to start opening from the very first one. And let's see what's behind door number one. I'm gonna take a look at all these items uh, later. Like, you know, because I have no gear on me, ladies and gentlemen. To be able to hold this many caches, the only gear I have is the gear that I am wearing. Because caches take up a single spot. Ah, uh, that's kind of a garbage. Uh, garbage. Well, like, you know, we're just looking for... Uh... Hmm. Mm, no. This is going to be a lot of loot. Oh, Alpha Bridge, uh, Racksack, an MK46. Nah, MK46 is kind of, uh, the bottom. Uh, Final Measure Mask and Operator Spac. That's actually very nice, if anything. Uh, right here we got, whoa, a Lone Star Vest with 2900 armor. And an operator mask. The Lone Star must definitely have something rolled on armor. We'll take a look at all of this in a moment. Vest of Nomad and Hunter Faith knee pads. The Nomad doesn't look bad at all. All right, let's take a look at what we have behind this door. SOCOM M1A with a decent damage and operator gloves. Now let's see what we got here. Behind this field proficiency we got a Lone Star and Predator's Mark Backpack. I'm mostly looking, in case you're wondering what am I uh, after. I am after a uh, front, uh, front line, you know, just because I could run around with a shield and my invisible fucking pistol that does not exist, you know. And maybe, uh, maybe slap people in the face. But whatever. In any case, we'll continue on with opening our caches. Right here we have a surplus SVD and a striker's holster. Nothing so far special unfortunately. And here we have alpha bridge gloves, which is actually I was looking for an alpha bridge for two P for four P's bonus. And operator's mask, those two ones final measure and uh, alpha bridge, final measure and frontline is what I am severely interested in. Let's keep opening up these caches, gloves of Nomad and another high end. Let's see what's behind this door and a final measure mask and a gunslinger vest. This is really nice actually, if anything, the gun gunslinger vest will see you, you know, maybe I'll in integrate it into the front line even though the front line allows you to use other weapons at 4 set piece bonus, but we'll see what we get, you know, later on. All right, we got final measure vest that seems to be very decent and a tactician mask. Behind the next sealed cache, we got tactical backpack and a lone star backpack. Wow, frontline that seems to be really evasive. Ah, uh, we got a dead eye backpack and a gunslinger holster. Behind this door, we got a reclaimer support pack and a tactician mask. Wow, frontline is rare, aren't you, baby? 
We have uh, operators knee pads ooh, with a very nice 2800 armor uh, and a sentry holster that doesn't seem to be that amazing based on armor alone. We got a uh, fire crest operators mask. Oh, so far is so terrible, honestly. Alpha bridge gloves, a uh, tactical vest. Hopefully the alpha bridge gloves will be decent. What else we got here? Our reclaimer gloves. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, I'm opening up 50 caches, and so far, not a single front line. This is unbelievable. All right, behind this sealed cache, we have a fire crest, uh, fire garbage. What else we got here? Strikers and tacticians. Ah, come on. Give daddy a holster, a banshee, and operator mask. Even though a banshee is really, really nice, but I've noticed um, lately... <clears throat> is that alpha bridge is in many cases way better when you have all the talents from all your weapons i watched people take on people with banshee with full alpha bridge and alpha bridge came out the winner even though they were both using the same weapons and blah 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 but we try to get them as close as possible uh banshee even though it's nice the extra damage from the weapons you know talents really help us out Okay, the Alpha Bridge knee pads and Operator's Vest. Those knee pads look quite decent, 1600. Uh, tactical Vest, Reclaimer Gloves, uh, more garbage. Oh, the vendor is going to be getting flooded today. Oh, Alpha Bridge Holster. That's something interesting, though it does have kind of a shitty stats. In the sense of, I hope, uh, Hunter Faith knee pads. Whoa, where is Frontline? I guess maybe Frontline it does not come out out of survival at all or extremely extremely rare i mean i'm opening up survival caches one after another and i do not seem to be getting any let's see we still have a lot of caches to go ladies and gentlemen we've so far opened up uh, almost 30 caches we've opened up 30 caches and as you can see here ladies and gentlemen we are actually filled on loot i'm not really even sure uh where is it all going x45 and a custom l86 oh an lvac and an mp7 all right all right socom emma and hunter m44 ah uh, the socom seems to have uh very decent damage Let's continue opening up. Tactical Enhanced P19. Hmm. And a Tactical Super 9. Uh. Alright, let's see what else we got behind. Another weapon. Socom M1A and a Paratrooper SVD with a very nice DPS. Double, bar double barrel sort of uh, pistol and a Tactical. Hmm, nah. Kind of garbage. Let's see what else we get here. P19 and military. Mm, no. Nothing amazing there whatsoever. Custom P416 G3. Mm, and a hunting M44. Nah. Covered SRM. Nah. Let's see, uh, first wave and military as nah. Tactical um, Ump 45, hmm, ACR. Kind of all both very, very seem significantly garbagey. Black Market AK-74 and Black Market T-821. Uh, mm, garbage also. Wow, so many catches and so much garbage. Uh, tactical AUG. Uh, both garbagey looking first wave uh, MG5 ah. military and com covered uh, converted USC both seem to have kind of shitty damage honestly and right here we got our operators mask and right here we have the operator gloves and of course two weapon kits jeez i wonder how many weapon kits at this point i have 
Let's see, pouches. I have 78 caches and 26 weapon kits. Yeah, I know my I have kind of like shitty stats. You know, haven't been really keeping up lately. But let's get back into cache opening. We only got a few more caches to go. Oh, cha-ching. Oh, finally. The, uh, out of 50 something caches, I finally managed to pull out our frontline gloves and a FAMAS. A shitty FAMAS, but nonetheless a FAMAS. Let's see what's behind this door. An ACR operator's mask and a rhino. Oh, a rhino that I could actually use. I actually enjoy That gun is really nice. I enjoy it. Um, black market knee pads of Nomad and a prototype performance mod. M700 carbon. All seem to be a little shitty, but I like the fact that I'm gener I am generating insane amount of Phoenix credit. Uh, Lone Star MG5 black market. Um, seems to be all very, very garbagey. Let's take a look here. Hunting M16 operators quick release magazine and, co and converted USC. Mm. And last but not least, the last cache. And it also got garbage. Oh, well now. Let's put it this way. I got a lot of loot. A lot, a lot, a lot of loot. 49 items left. Uh, unfortunately, I could have gotten something maybe better. I'm gonna play around with the gear, reroll some things, see maybe uh, it'll help out. Now let's take a look at maybe what we got as a weapon-wise, since we, we did pick up a lot of weapons. Converted, garbage, enhanced P19, garbage, M700, carbon, garbage, MG5, garbage, and these weapons that I am going to well play around with kind of said how much garbage we have acquired but nonetheless we did acquire a lot of money from this garbage what if you know is having selling this all of this junk puts us at literally tripled our money when we started this video ladies and gentlemen if you go back to the beginning if you're interested to double check we were at four million something by simply open it uh, by simply pay playing five missions and winning them on the survival i was able to obtain 50 something caches and now i managed to literally obtain eight million credits which is actually a quite a hefty sum and please consider the fact that i have yet to sell a lot more stuff i'm gonna boil it down to what i'm going to use and what i'm not going to use and i'm also going to sell it so in reality if this number of anything it would be 14 million you know we'll increase it by 2 million not a hefty sub because i do have a lot of items on me still left that i am trying to sell because i'm going to turn around and jump back into the and uh doing the survival because it's a very very easy way of obtaining caches though i am quite disappointed that i did not get any frontline I do not understand how come opening so many gear caches and so on that I only managed to get a one piece of frontline. Perhaps frontline mostly drops somewhere else. You know, uh, maybe under, uh, not underground, I'm sorry, I meant to say maybe in the dark zone, I would imagine would be the better drop rate. But it's definitely kind of is a shitty drop rate out of survival as so many caches open and only one piece, which is just baffling my mind. Thank you all again for tuning in to another wonderful episode brought to you by Games Glitches. If you have any questions, any problems, any suggestions, any glitches that you want to show on this channel, please leave a comment below and I'll definitely try to, well, answer you or at least reply in one form or another unless it's a troll comment. Then I'm sorry, I kind of get thousands of those a day, so I tend to ignore them. But if you have a legitimate concern, please feel free to leave a comment and I'll definitely try to help you out. Thank you all again for checking out my channel. If you enjoyed this nice little episode, please click like, please click subscribe, and I'll see you in the next Division Glitch video.